YouTube kick Adam 22 versus Dom. This story gets very, very wild. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys right into it. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting this today when I hopped on. You know, I thought I was going to be living my life, chilling, but not the case. So we're going to start from the top of where this all began, and then we're going to work our way back. It's going to be a couple ads in there. But so essentially what happened is... Adam said something to Dom, something that triggered Dom to say, okay, well, now I'm going to have to go after you. And uh, this is where it started. So it kind of started yesterday too, but let's just get right after it. On March 16th, 2023, the Gucci gang rapper accused Adam 22 of having, you know, intercourse with underage girls while on tour when Little Pump was 16 year olds. Now, if you haven't right. seen this video, Adam was fucking girl. I'll play Fuck. this. The By the way, guys, this could be a long one a lot because i defended adam the other day I, I said i didn't respect him but at the same time i was kind of defending him as a husband but i got a couple words i want to say now girls that i was fucking when i was 16 oh no it's deeper than that now yes way yes way yes way so i ain't say shit but just so y'all know, <laughs> y'all know now. I was 16, fucking girls my age, right? Adam was fucking girls that was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? You are a straight pedal. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave that pedophile over there. I already got a spook. So, that's kind of where. That's not even where it even close to began, but that's what sparked Dom to start going in way too hard. Because like I said, Adam said something to Dom and it's, I mean, it, Dom just said, okay, well, here we go. So here we go. Adam 22 scares me. My advice to any young girls out there sleep with much, much older men. Now Adam was tweeting this back when Twitter wasn't as big as it is today. Remember Twitter used to be more of a, and Twitter to me is a very dark world. Um, but it used to be a little bit more niche than it is now. Back then, you know, Facebook, Instagram, those were the big things. But now, but now Twitter is more mainstream to me. It's more for politics and stuff like that. But anyway, I can't lie. Adam22 about to hate me. Can any and all hot high school girls stop following me on Instagram? I have enough temptations in my life as it is. 2012. This is 2012. And just to keep a reference to make sure we got his age at that time. <clears throat> um, oh my gosh. So he's 39 years old. So this post was made 10 years ago. About 10 years, 11 years ago. So that would have made him um, 28 when he was saying this stuff. 28. Okay, let's continue. <sighs> Adam 22 just DM'd me. This is the video of him and his wife. That the video of him and his wife was him breastfeeding their daughter and was uploaded to Lena's personal TikTok. I got to show you this video, but I have to show it the best I can without showing the kid, okay? So there was a video that went out, and I'll have to turn it back to me. There's a video that went out a while back that Lena was showing herself breastfeeding her kid. My The thing was, the argument was, it was posted to her mom account and not her actual account. But here's the thing, and here's the argument, which y'all are going to see later. We all know that she's a sex worker, okay? So if she posted that to her mom account, who do you think is watching that? People saying it's a dog whistle, okay? Meaning that it's kind of coded in the meaning something for people who are into that kind of stuff, watching little kids, you know what I mean? Um, and when, I, when you watch the video, and here it is right here. I'm not showing it all the way down. But so pretty much you can see her. So right here will be her breast hanging out right there. You see the kid you, right there. You see her breast hanging out. And I'm messing this up. <laughs> She's got this clown face on and you can see him with the Bernie thing. And this is Elmo. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be Elmo. The and you can't you, you can't really see the kid's face like you don't know what he looks like because he's wearing that um, vampire thing. But the weird thing about this video is the way they did it. She has her full boob hanging out. Full boob. Not like 
kind of have her nipples. I mean, full boob, full boob hanging out and having her bet her, her son breastfeed. And she's got this clown thing going on and this Elmo thing to me, dude, it was just super weird. But anyway, on October 13, 20, uh, 2022, Adam and his wife, uh, uploaded their daughter breastfeeding their, uh, to their, uh, plug talk which is their sex work uh, tiktok people began to accusing them of using their daughter as a you know dog whistle it is worth noting that lenny filmed pregnancy corn as well fetish scenes as well okay let's bring it back to me Ugh. and like i said she has her full breast hanging out while adam is holding i start now like i said i was defending adam but now when i think about how they got married and everything i don't think it was serious because Adam put up a video of him giving himself, giving Lena a car, right? And the reason he gave her the car, he said, I bought you a car for you having your first BBC scene. Which, if y'all don't know what BBC is, it stands for Big Black Chicken, if you know what I mean. Um, so pretty much, Adam is just using this marriage and all this publicity. It's keeping him relevant. I don't think that the marriage is even that serious. They'll probably be divorced within a year now. Now that I really think about it, I don't think these two will be married very long. I think the whole point was for her to get married and then do this scene with this guy just to get all this attention. I think Adam is at a place where he just starved for attention since no jumper isn't as big as it used to be. So let's continue on. Okay. So remember what that is about uh, the kids. Back to the tiktok uh -uh. okay so help adam 22 uh stop attacking me both you and lena are both of you are speaking on where the video was posted and not the video itself adam and lena i don't want to go next that dude had your booty upside down and i'm good so this is lena defending that tweet we just saw this is posted to my mommy vlog attack so your statement is false plug talk is a completely separate page why would you lie about this once again, like in the comments, do you think she was having a good time and stuff like this? There's some people in here saying like, what does it matter where you posted it? The point is you posted it, you weirdo. And I have to agree. So let's move on to uh, Don's response here. And this is based off of people saying that Adam 22 used to be, uh, people used to say that he was stealing black culture because he started bringing black people on his show and um, he started trying to pretend like he was really in the hip hop culture and all that kind of stuff. And people have said that he is really not part of it. He's just grifting kind of like a Pearl Davis. Can we talk? I need you to walk back up there and pack up your people. I'm being a gentleman about it for the moment. Can we talk? <laughs> and this is that dude in Lena, right? Same thing. All right, moving on. Out of 22, you might not know me, but responding to me is the worst thing you could ever do. Now it's time for discovery. I dislike what people like you stood for in the industry. You control black culture and create ign ignorance and pain. You got cuck with the humiliation ritual to make it go away. But you dudes forgot I'm still here. So you're saying you wouldn't suck an 11 year olds. You see it. This is back in 2010, 13 years ago. This makes Adam about 25 years old when he said this. Like, here's my thing, dude. Like, even when people say like, oh, you know, there was dark humor back then. I don't know if I remember at any point in that time in 2010 when people were like, oh, yeah, sucking uh, 11 year olds uh, body parts. That that is what is what we were talking about. Hold on. I want to explain this humiliation ritual to you guys. We got to pull out the old handy dandy notebook. So what I can see is that the humiliation ritual is when a record label forces or bribes the artists into doing things they wouldn't normally do to end up end up doing to weaken and disrupt the society and audience to market to. Some examples of ritual uh, um, humiliation rituals. OK, so I'm assuming it's something like that, that the, he used the humiliation ritual to um, kind of get to the audience to make it perfectly acceptable for that kind of stuff to happen within a marriage. That's what I got out of that. They said the same thing happened to Tom Holland, which we are going to be speaking about here later. Here later. Okay. Adam, 22. 
mask. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. She used the humiliation ritual on him to kind of get him to get people to be like, oh, it's perfectly okay for your wife to do these kind of things. Um, and they use Adam 22 as the bait. Okay, so moving on. Don't bring your kids around Adam 22. Don't believe me? Take it from him. Don't bring your kid around me. 2014. Okay. 11 years ago. What's about? We're back. No, no, we're at nine years ago. Adam was still in his late 20s. <clears throat> actually, uh, his 30. He was actually 30. Hey, someone tell Adam 22 to block, unblock me. So Adam 22 blocked him. Here we go again. Dear Adam 22, I'm not done with you yet. What's with all these cute girls adding me? Send me a message so I know who you are. Does this not sound like EDP vibes? <laughs> Let's just be real with ourselves. Does that sound like EDP vibes? These t and these tweets were been out there. Obviously, they're deleted now, but you can always find it. <laughs> everybody has screenshots. Everybody saves stuff. You get the right people, you'll find anything you need to find. Um, and I didn't know all this stuff about Adam 22. I had seen videos on him. I didn't know it went this far. And here's the thing, guys, is that... If you look at Adam and the way he still acts, there's no way you can say, oh, he's changed. He literally married a woman just to have her be piped down by a black guy and to use that as a way to um, propel himself back into relevance. Does that not sound sick to y'all? He married a girl who he knew was a sex worker and then talked about her and then getting her a black guy to do things to her. A black guy. He, she, he, he used the black guy. And now he's going off of this whole thing. Like, congratulations for your first black guy and this black guy and that black guy. It's just like, why are you using black men so much to push yourself back into somewhat of a random relevancy? So here is him in academics uh, carrying Adam's uh, coffin. Who's ready for my Adam 22 final? It will be the next tweet. Brendan and I are developing a new dating site for little kids. Tagline. For kids that just want to have sex. This is 2009. Okay, so that brings us, what, 14 years ago. Adam's still in his 20s. Okay? Still in his 20s when he made that post. And here is the big dog that we saw. Okay? This is the one I've been waiting to get y'all to. Let's actually take an actual read of this post. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Nope. I hate that with the way it does the zooming here. Anyway. Let's get the image. I'll do the best. You just read along the best you can. I apologize. Uh, 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 uh. One night in particular, we ended up talking on the phone and she went into vivid detail about how she wanted me to go to Canada to see her and have intercourse with her. I won't even bother telling you the things that she described wanting me to do to, uh, to her because the end of the story, I'll, I've actually done them all to her and worse. Disgusting, Adam. The conversation left me hot and bothered, to say the least. Now, any of the math inclined, uh, any math inclined out there are probably reading this and thinking, like, she's 19 now. You were 23 then. How old was she then? Well, she was 16. But come on, man. Look at her. She's 18 or 19 in most of her pics here, but she didn't look that much different at all then. If blankety blank... <laughs> wow, this dude. If... What word can I use here? If graping is wrong, I don't want to be right. Now, I could make the argument the age of consent is 16 in Canada, although I'm sure that traveling from America to Canada to have intercourse with a minor is still illegal as hell. But really, fuck an argument. She was stupid hot and I wanted in. On January uh, 6, 2010, Adam admitted that he was having a relationship with a 16-year-old named Desiree when he was 23 on a forum hardcore label. Adam also uploaded nude photos of this girl while she was underage. The next tweet has the original source, so you can go watch that if you want to. This is the girl. Sorry, Desiree. I'm hoping, you know. So, man, after all this... And there's way more, I'm sure, on Adam. Okay? This, this, this never stops. I take back what I said about Adam yesterday. I defended him against Aiden Ross and said that he is married to the girl even though she's a sex worker. I am now convinced once again that Adam did not marry this Lena girl for love or anything like that. I think it was all publicity stunts. I think they'll be divorced here very soon. If not within a year or two, that's just me. I don't know. 
Um, because I do think that he used this to once again, use her to uh, push her out to a black guy and kind of push himself back into relevancy. And now he's making a joke of it, trying to be cool with it. He did a whole interview on it. Listen, why put your whole relationship out there for people to know about and then be proud of it? So that's what I'm saying. This is all just a publicity stunt. I do think they are both sick people putting their kid breastfeeding with the Elmo and a Burt mask. I think Lena and I think Adam 22 are very sick individuals that are caught in the, uh, um, these are sex addicts, porn addicts who are caught in the very dark hole that can happen when you decide to go into sex work. And you can see Adam is clearly a sex addict in a porn addict because of how he talks about little girls. Um, in, 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 man, even little boys, I'm sure. So this guy right here, Adam 22, very, very disturbed individual. I no longer would ever defend this man. I think he's very disgusting. And I apologize for ever even starting to stand up for this man. I take back what I said. Don't care if he's married. Um, I think I still think what Aiden Ross did was wrong. But at the same time, they're all wrong. They're all disgusting to me. And just let me know what you think about this whole Dom versus Adam 22 thing. Um, I'm sure Adam is done i don't think he's gonna respond to dom anymore because this dom guy looks like he could really 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 crack this thing open worse and worse and worse and worse i suggest adam if you want to keep your career or anything you probably just just shut up let go of this whole lane of bbc thing and just move on with your life that's all for me goodbye